coming up on this week's episode. Jessica Cox will fly a U.S. Senator on the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disability Act. The long awaited update to the Microsoft Flight Simulator is almost here, and MTSU is expanding their training fleet. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly news program dedicated to all things flight training, as well as the amazing industry built around it. There's no segment more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. I'm Sophie Herlock. On July 24th, Jessica Cox, the world's first and only person without arms to become a pilot, will fly retired Iowa Senator Tom Harkin and her airplane from Frederick, Maryland to Washington, D.C. to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Cox has been flying for a little over 12 years and flies a modified 1946 air coupe with her feet. On top of being a private pilot, Cox is a motivational speaker, an advocate for disability rights, and the founder of the Right Footed Foundation, which aims to change the perception of people with disabilities and to inspire children with limb differences to live confidently. The Americans with Disability Act was signed into law by President George Bush on July 26, 1990. Senator Harkin was the act's lead sponsor. The ADA provides a clear and comprehensive national mandate for the elimination of discrimination against individuals with disabilities, alongside enforceable standards to address such discrimination. Jessica is truly an inspiration for anyone struggling with their flight lessons. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. We spent days flying and burning fuel and experiencing the new Swift fuel. I'm pretty dang impressed. I mean, to come up with a high octane replacement fuel with no lead, that's a tall order. If they continue to go the way they're going, Swift Fuel will have a replacement fuel of the market. It's better for the environment. It's cleaner on your engine. That's game changer. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. On July 11th, the 99s named Rod Machado as their 2020 George Palmer Putnam Award winner. The award was established in 2006 to recognize the support provided to the 99s by an individual or organization outside of the 99s and is named after Amelia Earhart's husband. For over 33 years, Machado has supported the 99s through assisting his wife, who is a member of the organization with projects, donating training materials, and working at chapter events. A GoFundMe page has been set up by Aerosport and Sport Aircraft Canada for Rachel St. Louis, a young entrepreneur to help her pay for an aircraft engine. St. Louis is currently working on getting her private pilot's license and has become a regular at a number of aviation events, selling aviation-inspired jewelry to help pay for a Bushcat light sport aircraft kit. If you would like to help support Rachel and her dream of flight, you can do so by making a donation on her GoFundMe page or by buying some of her jewelry at rachelsjewelrymachias.com. Andrew Chan, Michael Hare, and Newland Parker have been selected as the new members of the Society of Aviation and Flight Educators Volunteer Board of Directors. Their three-year terms will begin at their installation during the SAFE annual meeting in July or August. Over 25% of SAFE's membership participate in the voting process, a percentage SAFE Executive Director David St. George says is a record. If you want to win a free King Schools course, kneeboard, and flight bag, send us a story suggestion to news by at arrow-news.net by August 31st. Each story will give you one entry, and each contestant is allowed to enter up to five times. Additionally, you can enter to win by filling out our reader survey by clicking the link in the description below. The survey is limited to one entry per person, but can be counted along with any news story suggestion submitted. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. 
Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. The long-awaited update to the Microsoft Flight Simulator will be available with Xbox Game Pass for PC on August 18th. The updated simulator will feature vivid landscapes, a living world, detailed aircraft, a new checklist system, dynamic weather, day and night engine, and aerodynamic modeling. There will also be three editions of the Flight Simulator. The Microsoft Flight Simulator Standard Edition, which will include 20 highly detailed planes with unique flight models and 30 airports for $59.99. The Deluxe Edition, which includes everything from Microsoft Flight Simulator Standard Edition, plus five additional airplanes with unique flight models and five additional international airports for $89.99. And the Premium Deluxe Edition, which includes everything from Microsoft Flight Simulator Standard Edition, plus 10 additional planes with unique flight models and 10 additional international airports for $119.99. Middle Tennessee State University's Department of Aerospace recently added six brand new Diamond Aircraft 2020 DA-40 XTL aircraft to their training fleet. On top of this, the Diamond Factory Service Center also refurbished 13 aircraft in the university's existing fleet. Altogether, the six new planes and 13 refurbishments cost the university over $3.5 million, and students were able to fly them as soon as the school opened back up from their COVID-19 shutdown. Diamond airframes do not have a life limit, so the company can easily revamp the interior, update the avionics, paint and restripe the aircraft to make it look as good as new. MTSU has been a Diamond customer since the early 2000s and currently uses 28 Diamond airplanes for training student pilots. Established in 1942, the MTSU Aerospace Department has grown into one of the most respected aerospace programs in the U.S. with 17 full-time faculty members, 75 flight instructors, and around 1,000 majors. And that was our last story of the day. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed today's program, be sure to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To get the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, go over to aero-news.net. I'll see you back here Friday to wrap up the week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited.